Hi, I'm Donna, and for the next few minutes, I'm going to be sharing with you some great tips on how to properly recycle your plastic bags. You know, there's a common misconception out there that just because your plastic bags are, well, <laughs> plastic, that you can put them in your mixed recycling cart at home. Uh-uh-uh, we should not do that. You know, if these plastic bags actually make it to the sorting facility, they can actually slow down the process of recycling. Come on, let's take a look. I'm here with Ken today at SP Recycling, and we're gonna find out a little bit about how um, these plastic bags that we've been recycling that we shouldn't be really gum up his system. So Ken, how much recycling goes through here, say, on an average day? On an average day, it's between four and 500 tons. We run at an average of two 10-hour shifts, and that leaves us about four hours to do maintenance on a daily basis. This is what we call the metering bunker. So we load this material that comes in loose form being delivered on the truck over here into this bunker. There's spikes on this drum which help equalize the material and that as much material builds up on that you lose the ability of those spikes to level that material. Where does all this go then once it's been sifted and sorted and bailed up? What we do is we separate it all into different commodity grades and the different grades will go to different locations. The lowest grade is film. Whatever we collect is film. What's film? Film is your plastic bags. This is the pre-sort area. We are sorting for things that do not belong here, and especially things that can damage the equipment at this point, meaning the plastic bags that can wrap up in the shafts, meaning you know larger pieces of wood uh, or metal pipes, etc. This is our first screen, and this is called the OCC screen. And basically what we're trying to do is separate the larger pieces of cardboard from the rest of the uh, recycled material. This is our first news screen. This is where we're going to collect any of the plastics that have made it through to this point. So this is probably most, the most critical area for the plastics to accumulate. Wrap around the shafts and this is what's going to take the longest to clean out. You know, we're pulling out about 400 uh, pounds per day out of these shafts of plastic that get wrapped up. 75 to 100 tons of material a month. I was reading in your literature that you think it costs you between 20 and 30 percent of your annual labor, or excuse me, your monthly labor, to shut this down and clean out our plastic, plastic bags. Oh yeah, you think about that. You know, with 16 people, 16 people is about 20 percent of the workforce in the building. And when they go in to do that, we're taking that, it's non-productive time. There's a safety issue involved with people going into these things, they're working with knives, uh, trying to get that plastic out of there. This is what we've collected in one shift of operation. One Today. shift? So like 10 hours? It's almost 10 hours, yes. Shame, shame, shame. You've got blue bags, you've got garbage bags in there, you've got retail bags in there, grocery bags. Your, uh, your covers for your drinking water. Yeah. You know, the cases of water. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. So to review, when you put your plastic bags into your recycling cart, they end up here with all the other plastics, metals, and paper. Instead of going cleanly through the system, they get caught in the rollers designed to separate the materials. Twice a day the system has to be shut down and cleaned of plastic bags that get caught up in the rollers. This takes time away from the recycling process and puts the valuable workers in harm's way when they have to climb into the machine to clean it. We need to change the way that we recycle our plastic bags. The good news is, you don't have to make a special trip just to recycle your plastic bags. Most grocery stores have a bin similar to this one. Just put them in, and you're done. And next time, try a reusable bag. For more information, go to mcrecycles.net.